So we're here at uh, Koru. And uh, who are you? Hey, I'm Christian Lindholm, the CEO of Koru. Uh, we are uh, a wearable uh, UI framework uh, creator. We built a, a small uh, optimized wearable uh, OS that enables uh, manufacturers to get faster to market, uh, enables uh, longer battery life, and uh, we can then provide through our framework uh, is architected so that presentation and logic is separated, which allows that we can easily have different types of interfaces uh, running and we can get smooth uh, graphics uh, and have different types of, of experiences through uh, using different layers uh, in the graphics. So can you do this on a Cortex M4? Absolutely. All this? Yes, we can run at 60 frames per second on a Cortex M4. Uh, our whole OS uh, on the uh, ST Microsystem uh, STM32 uh, F4 development board boots uh, in less than 500 milliseconds. So from power up to a complete UI and application running, that's 500 milliseconds. So this UI right now, this 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 watch is a uh, ARM V V7. Uh, based uh, Motorola from a couple years ago. How do, how do you run your software on there? So we uh, run the uh, device in, in boot mode and uh, we use this to uh, prototype and, and experiment with. So we can then load a uh, different experience. Uh, oh, just sorry. Mm. So here's an, an experience that's done by uh, a company in uh, uh, northern Finland called Creol. Uh, so they designed the, uh, the interface uh, for their uh, smartwatch concept for women. And uh, here you then have essentially four sections. So uh, up, down, um, uh, left and right. So if you go into messaging one of the enablers our platform provides is this type of, of very smooth scrolling where where you use content uh, in the background we have these types of bounce backs uh, we have this kinetic type of, of scrolling and uh, use physics to create the smoothness in in graphics so subsequently the, uh, again uh, changing the design from the one I showed previously to this is really mainly effort in uh, in changing the style sheet and the graphics. But uh, what is the platform that Motorola ships? Uh, the base platform here is uh, Android Linux, so we're running on the Android kernel. But our platform is liquid, so we work on uh, FreeRTOS, on Android, on Linux, N uh, NetBSD, Raspberry Pi, uh, Mac, PC, you know. So, so you can run on Android and you can also make it run on no need for Android? No it need be, for Android, Because no. Cortex M4 cannot run Android. No, so, uh, and that's what, what uh, wearable makers uh, leverage now increasingly uh, free artos as a base and uh, and we think we're the only uh, platform that provides 60 frames per second smooth graphics we have a component library of 60 uh, components ready to uh, build any kind of, of interface so, so our vision is really that you know let's have millions of different uh, experiences on wearables so that it really can become lifestyle driven fashion driven uh, and uh, and beautiful for the end users so if you want millions do you have to make it open source and free or no i think the uh, uh, model uh, can be a licensing model uh, as well because i think there will be lots of uh, makers of wearables going forward can you make it open source and licensable i don't know 
the business model really the market will determine the the, the right business model right now we are uh, are using a licensing model because we really want to make sure that we can provide good service to our customers so you say it's a scalable operating system so it's not just a new UI layer well is it how very, much of it very technically speaking it's a UI framework so it is the top layer of the OS so and uh, but you need a lot of different things there do you have everything already well uh, the uh, kernel level would provide the uh, uh, connectivity layers to uh, you know bluetooth to uh, sensors you know they either get implemented using uh, linux android linux or or free artos increasingly and but this, I guess there's a lot of uh, UI uh, requirements or ideas and all that. Can you, can, can you uh, implement all the stuff that people would like to have on a smartwatch, for example? Well, uh, having already 70 different building blocks, uh, you can actually uh, you know, have imagination as, as, uh, as your limit. So I think uh, if somebody of our customers would come up with an idea for, for a component, then uh, we'd be happy to, uh, to implement that. Because in OS, sometimes you want to be able to add some apps, right? Is well, that something you can do? So, so yes, of course, apps then can be built on top of this. So that's what our customers are doing. They're building the apps apps on top and they typically want to own them and, and control them and, and that's what they can do. They could also open it up for third party apps? Well we can open it up and, and, and even our customers could open it up. So what do you think is going to be the, the market for wearable? Uh, is it going to be a lot of Android and will it be some this something like this as some below Android, cheaper than Android or how does it work? Well, well I, I, I of or course hope that, that, uh, that in this paradigm, when the computer migrates from the pocket to the body, that we actually do take into account, you know, lifestyle and fashion and personal taste, and uh, and this is the vision that uh, that Coru is all built on, and uh, and this is the vision that that we would like the world to to adopt, because we think that way we can really uh, amplify our personal flair and our personal style with the uh, electronics we wear.